Hey guys, it's Coach Jason from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial of the decline bench. First we're going to start with the setup. Basically the main attachment which you can adjust on this machine is actually where you lock your legs in. So as you can see I have a comfortable distance here so that I'm not too far back in the bench or not too far away from the bar so that I'm pressing in a comfortable spot. So I'll show you what this all looks like. Basically the main thing that you want to do is lock your legs in place like this and then you lean back and that's essentially all that you do and I'm going to show you what a couple reps look like and kind of talk over some good cues there for you. So as you can see here I'm pulling my shoulders back almost as if I'm trying to pinch a pencil between my shoulder blades so that my chest is out and I'm in a good spot to squeeze it. Another really good cue that you can see that I'm doing here is that I'm actually tucking my elbows in and almost you can imagine almost breaking the bar so that I'm in a really good spot to press safely and protect my shoulders. And really quick guys I want to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Jason I know I'm new to the channel here but I wanted to say that I'm an online coach at Colossus Fitness and if you want personalized guidance to get guaranteed results results click the first link below so guys two common mistakes that I see on this movement are that first off a lot of times people don't start with their shoulders back if you think about it I want to contract the chest here so to do that I'm gonna have my shoulders back and in a good place to squeeze my chest if I start my movement like this my front delts are gonna be taking over and I'm not gonna be getting those chest gains that I want that's the first mistake the second mistake is even a, a lot of people do that they make that they, they do the right thing and they bring their shoulders back great but if I'm overextending in the press, then I'm back at this position where I'm in an uncomfortable spot for my shoulders. I'm not able to go all the way down and I'm not really targeting my chest, right? So ideally what we wanna do, bring the chest out, shoulders back so we can squeeze it and stop at peak contraction. You don't need to go beyond this because you wanna keep the tension on your chest. Those are the two mistakes, avoid them. All right guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, if you wanna get the results that you deserve, click the link below and have a nice day.